Using reversed thrust to reduce landing distance is an old idea. To solve the special problem for one of its airfields, the Royal Norwegian Air Force started using the thrust of two reversed JATO rockets on its F-86Fs. The two rockets are mounted underneath the wing on a standard bomb rack and fired through the airplane's normal bombing system. The two JATO rockets deliver a total of 2,000 pounds thrust and the duration is 12 to 14 seconds. The normal landing distance of an F-86F with no external load in no wind condition is 2,800 feet ground roll distance. By using the two JATO rockets, it's reduced to 1,200 feet. All clear to arm the rockets before takeoff. The simple attachment plate used to hook the rockets to the bomb rack were made by the Royal Norwegian Air Force. This installation permits the dropping of the attachment plate and rocket in case of emergency. The normal bomb firing switch on the control stick fires the rockets and the salvo switch will drop the rockets. This system is easily adapted on most of the American type of aircraft using the standard type bomb rack. The pilot will keep his arms outside the cockpit to prevent accidental firing of the rockets while work with arming is in progress. Signaling to crew chief, ready to taxi. Airplane taxiing out with J-12 rockets armed, ready to fire. The pilot fires the rockets upon touchdown. The system has been checked with only one rocket firing and no trouble with directional control was encountered. Here she goes. This black smoke indicates that the rockets are empty, but at this moment the aircraft is also brought to a standstill. One third runway length, 1200 feet ground roll. And here, the airplane taxis back to dispersal after one of more than a hundred incident-free landings made with this installation. <laughs>